Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn about the const keyword in C++. So this const keyword is used to make the program elements such as the variables, the pointers, etc, etc as constants. So all of you know that a constant is a value which doesn't change. First, we're going to talk about the constant variables in C++. So we will face some situations as a programmer, you know, where we have to keep some variables constant throughout our program. For example, you are writing any program about, you know, finding the area of a circle, etc. At that time, you guys need to use the pi value. So we can say that this pi value is a constant value which doesn't change. I mean, it should not change. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, we're going to create a variable and we're going to call it as pi and uh, its value is going to be 3.142, I guess. And we want this pi value to be constant throughout the program. So once we initialize this pi variable with a value, it should not change. So to make this pi variable constant, we can use the const keyword with it. So when we use it, it's going to be a read only variable. So we can't change the value. And the next thing is when you use a const keyword with a variable, you should initialize that variable where you declare it. And if I try to change the value of this pi in my program, you know, let's try to do that. Let's say pi equal to 1.2. And uh, if I build and run this, it'll get some compile error. I'm gonna open up the logs. So assignment of read only variable pi. So when you declare a variable with a constant keyword, you know that variable is gonna be constant throughout your program. So you can't change the value. And also we guys can use this const keyword with the pointers, function arguments and return values, class data members, class member functions, objects, etc, etc, you know, which we're going to learn later. So here, now I'm going to show you how to protect an array by using this constant keyword. So just for the demonstration purpose here, I'm going to write a function which is going to take the array as an argument and it's going to display the elements of that array. So as a programmer, in some cases, we don't want any other functions to change the values that we pass. So at that time, if we change that unknowingly, then, you know, our program will not work properly. And, you know, it's very difficult to track that kind of bugs. So here, uh, we can write a function, let's call it as display. And this function is not going to return any values. So it's going to be display display and our function is going to take two arguments so first it's going to take an array so what we're going to do is we're going to make this array as constant so i'm going to use a const keyword const int and let's call it as num and then we're going to receive another value let's call it as limit you know which is also of type int and uh, in, my, in our program, we're going to use a for loop to print out the elements of that array. So I'm going to use the loop counter variable and I'm going to call it as counter and let's initialize this one to zero and counter less than limit counter plus plus and we're going to use the C out statement and it's going to be num counter and let's add this line using the end line and also use that stream insertion operator properly okay now we have written a function called display you know which is going to display you know which is going to display the elements of an array which is received as a argument so here we have made this array as constant that's why we can't change the value of the array which we receive. You know, I'm going to demonstrate that later. So here in our main function, we're going to create an array. Let's call it as number. And I'm going to initialize this array to, let's say 22, 11, 44, 55, 66. So we have five 
elements in this array and next I'm gonna call the display function display and uh, don't make any spelling mistake it's gonna be display and we need to pass the array it's gonna be number and then it's gonna be the length of this array it is 5 so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run this program okay we got an error okay let me open up the logs that's because you know we haven't done the function prototyping so I'm gonna copy this one and paste it before this main function and add a semicolon so now I'm gonna save this build and run this so now you guys can see our display function has successfully printed the values of the array it received so the important thing to notice in this function is nothing but the const keyword so we can't change the value of the array which we receive so if we try to do that for example let's say num of counter I'm gonna copy this and uh, I'm gonna paste it in the next line and uh, let's say equal to 2 2 if we try to do that we'll get the compilation error so you guys can see I'm gonna open up the logs so error assignment of a read-only location so this is it guys this is about the const keyword in C++ which is used to make the programming elements as constants and also how to protect the array elements using the const keyword so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning and if you guys have any suggestion don't hesitate to tell us and i'll see you in the next tutorial